Hello everybody. Yeah, we're out of control today, but it's okay. We're gonna jump straight into a card. Oh shoot, I just closed the catalog. I'm casing a card. I will tell you about my day, but we're gonna get away from my picture because it's hideous. And we're gonna unmute my Good Lord. Okay, I'm sorry, that was really bad. I totally apologize, I forgot to mute the mic. It's getting the system set back up at home now, so we're gonna jump over, and I'm hoping you guys can see everything. Oh, that echo was nuts, I'm so sorry. Okay, so again, I'm having, it looks like I'm having issues getting my screen, so as long as you guys can see me, we are okay. Marika, do you ever find, you know, you get your whole system all kind of going, and then I just had to change locations and reset everything up and I totally screwed up. I'm like, forget it. Hello, my dears. So we're gonna play. We are gonna play with this. Check it out. Hello, Debbie Short in Edmonton. Hello, Matthew Alford. Hi, Sharon. We're all good. I know. Yeah, see, I'm getting the same message. Sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. Okay, so I am using our gorgeous new Bumblebee cardstock. Okay. Now, I should grab my trimmer. I'm in chaos mode. I carted everything back to Vancouver and I have unpacked it. Well, I have unpacked it onto a table. I've been spending hours and you just kind of, it's funny then now that I'm going through retired stuff and I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Okay. So have I got my old trimmer or my new trimmer? I feel like this is my, oh no, that's my old trimmer. You ever look at something and you're like, that doesn't look right. That's not what the one I've been using at the lake feels like. Bumblebee. I know it's so cute. I made it home safe and sound. I'm not gonna lie, it was a longer drive than normal because I did have to get out of the car and do a little bit of walking around because I was exhausted. I couldn't sleep last night. It was one of those nights where you just kind of be like, oh good, 12.30 and I'm awake. And that was after I went to bed at 10. I'm like, it's gonna be a long night. Okay, so we've got a regular card base, uh, which is eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches this way. And then I scored it at four and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna put a big shot down. You haven't stamped in weeks, why? Marika, go to bed. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, why haven't you stamped in weeks, Anne? What's going on? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a tough couple weeks too, but I, I feel like the stamping, it helps me. Now, I don't even know where anything is in this room anymore, so this could be entertaining as I try and figure stuff out tonight. Uh, for those of you just joining me, I have not been living here for the past two months. I have been living at our summer house. Where do I keep my blocks? Hmm. That's super good. I have no idea where I keep my blocks. Does anyone remember where I keep my blocks at the lake or at home? Jeez Louise, this is really bad, you guys. Where am I? Oh, there they are, they're in the drawer. Okay, oh, that was terrifying. I'm like, I don't know where I keep blocks here. Okay. Hello, Ethan. There we go. So we're gonna put that super cute little turtle on there. We are going to grab too much. I'm overwhelmed and I hear you. I think, um, I think this is, this is, yeah, it's terrifying. It is terrifying how everyone is feeling with all of this right now and how, how much angst it causes because it truly does. Okay, so we're going to stamp that guy in there. Just like, oh, do you see how cute he is, people? Like, look at that. Sorry, you're always entertaining. Ethan's tired. Ethan, I'm tired too, dude. Could you tell how tired I was, Eve? Today when we were on, I was like, hold your eyes open, Ange. Don't close your eyes while the kids are on screen with you. Okay, so now I need to hope you're back on your feet soon. Okay, Anne, we're going to make this card with you in mind, okay? So, Anne, we are sending you love, and I'm going to do it through your card. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one right on here, and we're going to stamp this actually right on the same color, okay? So we're, we are going totally monochromatic on this card. You can tell, Ethan knows, Ethan's like, I can tell by McKay's eyes that she's exhausted. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna stamp that one. Looking good, it's pretty straight. Okay, chop that off. Now, what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna put this down. I am going to grab my, whew, let's see, Mossy Meadow, I'm hoping that's, oh no, that is Old Olive. Where's Mossy Meadow? I'm going darker. I'm gonna go Mossy Meadow. And I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of soft suede. Got it. And then I think I will do, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a little bit of old olive, okay? Hello, Carrie, how are 
you. You're just talking about how fall my look is just too much. Oh yeah, I'm like in denial. Hello, Lorraine, in my happy place. So jealous, Lorraine. Um, yes, I am I am here in Vancouver. And actually, I felt my anxiety rise as I went into the city. I'm like, oh, people, there's so many people. Okay, and this is embarrassing, you guys, but I actually felt it as I was driving close to cars. I'm like, that car is not six feet away from me. That car is way closer than six feet, and his window is open. And then I'm not going to lie, I did laugh at the gentleman who drove by me in the car by himself with his mask on. I'm like, I'm not sure who you're protecting yourself from at this point. Oh, from Moses Lake. Hi, you guys. Hi, sweet Ava. Oh, I miss you, McKay. E. I wish you understood. I wish you guys could get how much I miss you. It is, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like I get that, I get the mummy heart ache. That's what I said to Sean. It's like my mom heart hurts. Okay, so we have done a little bit there. And we're just gonna keep coloring this. So I'm gonna kind of come in and we're gonna do the light mossy meadow. I feel like I need to do a quick inventory of my blends and do it in another order. Um, plus I had too much Stampin' Up stuff. I don't know where to start. Okay, so what you're gonna do to start and is you're gonna case something. You are not even gonna try and create a card because when I, uh, like right now, I've got that same feeling as you. It's Everything's just a little bit too much right now. And so I know that I am not creative when I'm feeling that. I actually really kind of struggle with being creative at that point. So I jumped into the new catalog. I went, oh my gosh, that card is cute. I have the stuff I need. I am going to make that card. Now this is the best part about people like you and I who have a little bit of everything. We got it all, right? So I can go through the catalog. I can pull out something that I love, a little card, and then I'll go get the bits. How late am I? Cindy, you're not. I literally stamped this. Oh, Jojo, no, I have not seen a message from, what? You sent, did you send it to my North Shore Stamper page? I sometimes find that those messages are super weird and I don't get alerts on them. I will go check for it immediately when I'm off, my love. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Oh, so cute, there's a cute little turtle. Okay, I am in uh, puppy withdrawal. I'm gonna share that all with you now. I do not have my dogs. Hello, Xenia. Sean has both dogs at the lake. So Sean and I passed each other, I think we were about three hours outside of Vancouver when we passed each other. And um, we pulled over, pulled over at a truck stop. That sounds really bad. And I got out and gave my husband a hug and a kiss and I kissed my sweet Harley. And then they continued on towards the lake and Joe. And uh, I came down this way. Hello, junk. I know, Xenia, how cute is the turtle? Okay. Junk, we're all talking about how life is weird and we miss people. I had, oh my gosh. Okay, one of my girlfriends came today and she was just picking up like her club stuff. And we saw each other and burst into tears. It, you know, it's just that like, oh my gosh, it's a person. It's a person and I miss the person. And it's funny because I talked to her on the phone. It's not that I haven't spoken to her, but I was like, oh, I miss you. Okay, so we're going to like that. And then we're going to grab our light soft suede through Facebook Messenger. Yes, but okay, Jojo, question I'm asking is on Facebook Messenger, did you send it to Angela McKay or did you send it to North Shore Stamper? Because there's a difference. Um, and the ones that go to my personal, like to Ange McKay, they show up instantly. Like they show up on my phone, everything. The ones to North Shore Stamper, I actually have to, it's super weird and I need to maybe look into that. I need to do a little bit of hunting for sometimes. They don't, I don't get an alert that they're there. And because the past two days has been a bit of a freak show, I have not even gone in to look. This is all on my to-do list for tonight is to pretend I'm a human being and get myself a little bit more back on track. Okay, so I've gone in and I've given his... I miss your in-person face. I miss your in-person face. Ava, you go eat dinner. I miss you so much too, my love. Bye. Oh, you guys hurt my heart. I just want to go see my kids. Okay, so we're going to come in here. Now, this one, what I've done now is I actually grabbed a little bit of my darker crumb cake to go in because I don't want it to, I want it to accent that soft suede, but I don't want it to overpower it. So we're going to go like that. And then our little turtle, he's going to need, I forgot his feet, because apparently I forgot to finish him and make him green. There, okay. So 
So I'm going to take this. It's North Shore. Okay, so that's why, Jojo, I will go in and I will double check for it when I'm done. I have to take a child to go get something and then I will be back on. Or I'm not back on, but I'll be back on the computer, not back online. Okay, so I just, again, here I'm just using a little bit of our old olives. So you'll see that there's a difference in color. And this is good. I don't want everything to be, you know, it's kind of nice so that we can take colors. Like we can take our mossy meadow and I can mix it in with my old olive and it'll give me a little bit different look than it would if I mixed it just with the dark and light mossy meadow. So it's kind of a fun approach. I missed a little bit of his shell there. I'm gonna have to fix that. Fix that. Okay, so it's all, all I missed there is, can you see on his shell? He's got a naked shell. It's bad, it's not in a good location either. I've gotta fix the shell, people. Let's come in here. Do, 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 do. Like that, okay. Now, in the picture, they've given him a hint, like a hint of yellow. Now, I do not want it to look like he's got liver issues. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go, I'm using light, so saffron. Oh yeah, that's cute, that does work, okay? I just don't want him to look like he's got liver issues if we give him too much yellow in his eye. Oh my God, he is adorable. Okay, now, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my light smoky slate marker and I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna give him a little bit kind of around where they've shown me the shading for underneath him. Because we want to just accent that a little. You're so sweet in my next life. I'd like you to be my teacher. I know, but Carrie, do you ever go, okay, you're so cute and you're sweet and thank you for saying that. I sometimes think that I need them more than they need me. <laughs> I realize I have become dependent on the energy and the sense of humor of children that age because they, it feeds you, right? Like it kind of gives you that little, it gives you a zhuzh, people. Okay, next. I'm going to have to grab the big shot. Oh, hello, Phyllis. Hi, Carol. Oh, I love seeing you guys on. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut him out. Now I need to just figure out which size. So I think it is just, it is, it's just this size. He doesn't look like it's too big. Okay, so we'll do that. And then, hang on, while I'm over here, I gotta grab something. I need to grab. I'm grabbing a whole bunch of rectangle dice because I don't know what size it was that they used in the catalog, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's put him down. Look at that plate. You can even see through that plate. Crazy town. Okay, now, what do they look like? Oh, they look like a whole bunch of different ones. Choppity chop chop. Okay. Take that one out. Keep our cute little turtle. Hello, Nicole. Okay, get rid of that. It's the only white that was on the card. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece here. This was our leftover piece that we didn't score. We're not gonna touch the sentiment. I'll grab that in a sec. We're gonna cut that off. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of the smaller rectangles. We'll just stick them all on like this. Ta -da. I know, weren't you glad? Come babysit my three-year-old. I know, but don't you find it's contagious? Hi, Mary. I know, three-year-olds, I'm not gonna lie. I loved that phase when I was in it. Like, loved it. They were hysterical and they made me laugh constantly. But I don't miss being that exhausted. <laughs> Is that bad? Like, I just remember the constant fatigue that went with having little ones. Now, it, it's different. 14 and 15-year-olds come with a different kind of fatigue. Or it's like mental fatigue. I think they wear you down. Okay, so we've got some bits that we're just cutting out. And again, we're just using our stitched rectangle dies. And like that. Um, I feel like maybe I should do one more, or two more. Do another one of you, because you're kind of cute. I like your size. Can I able to do that one? And then can I fit them in there? Yeah, I can. Well, maybe I'll go this way. That'll work. I don't want to waste the paper. I've got limited bumblebee paper right now, people. Hello, Sean Gregson. Okay, cranking. Well, you can't even see that. Sorry, I just shot it out of the thing. Just a sec, I'm coming back. There we go, let's get rid of this. I had to bring my whiteboard for teaching home, because you know, they bust out the whiteboard for math lessons. Okay. So, oh, I just lost a die. So yes, my house is lonely and quiet because there are no puppies. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna grab our trimmer again. 
and this is five and a half inches wide already, which is perfect. It's what I want. Plus, they have to go home to their parents at the end of the day. Oh, no. Well, I know. I do. I'm not going to lie, though. Kids that age are way better for their teacher than they are for your, their parents. The parents are always like, how come they're so good for you? I'm like, because they know I don't have to love them. They know you do. And so I definitely get an easier side of kids than their parents are going to get. Sorry, I want a little bit more off. Santa. There we go. Okay. Next, let's get this bad boy assembled. Now, they did use some of the gorgeous coordinating. Look at this ribbon, you guys. So this is um, this is our new in-color ribbon, the Bumblebee one. And this is actually part of my in-color club. It's on my Facebook page. There are details up. Oh my gosh, there's no snail here. Oh yeah, there's, there you go. And, oh, do I have the TV on? I do, and it's funny that you said that. I didn't even notice it. Where's the remote? There. Oh. Lori, thank you. Did the police ever catch your unwelcome visitor at the lake? No, they did not. Lori, isn't it funny? And I think that is part of being a school teacher. I have learned over time to tune out background noise. I can not hear it when I'm doing things. But I forget that the camera is going to pick up all of that information or all that sound in the background. So thank you. Sorry for being a... I was just more panicked about getting on with you guys tonight. No, they never caught my person. Oh, what's the name of this stamp set? Just a second. I'm going to show it to you again. It's called Back on Your Feet. You've got this adorable giraffe, a super cute sloth, and a turtle. Love them all. Now, what we're going to do next. Thank you. I thought you were going, you're not going crazy, hon. That's me. I have lost the plot. Okay, so now we're going to take those cute little rectangles. And all they've done, and I love this idea, is they've actually turned them into the background of the card. So they've kind of taken little bits here. I'm gonna go like this. Like that. Okay. And then do another one over here. Make you kind of pop up there. Super cute idea, isn't it? You were wondering also, you guys, you have to tell me. And your TV's on, can you shut it off? Actually, I shouldn't have had my TV on. I don't know about you, but I, I need to not watch the news. I find I get very sucked in, and then I can get very distraught watching it. Hmm, I think, just a second, I'm going to peel this one up slowly. Somebody left me the cutest message the other day. They said, use, but I have music playing. Um, yeah, TV was on, Phyllis. So uh, somebody, um, I just lost what I was going to say. Something oh, someone said to me the other day about using dental floss to lift up something. Okay, so what we're going to do here, you guys, is we've got those all glued down. Now we're going to take dimensionals and we're going to pop this guy up. Ta -ta. Phyllis, I needed you 10 minutes. I thought one of my sons was watching it. No, I actually, I only have one child. I have the younger one here with me. The older one is with his dad. So older, it's super funny. So basically, youngest child stayed put in Vancouver. Oldest child stayed put at the lake. Mom and dad swapped locations and did our, you know, hello on the side of the Trans-Canada Highway. Okay, so now we're going to take this cute little sentiment and we're going to just tack it on just like that. Ta-da! And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. You can heat taped images from the back. Yes, absolutely fun. I love doing that. Okay, now this is the part I do love. Um, I'm not big on the froofy things going on with bows and stuff, you know, it, unless it suits the card. But what they've done is they've actually got, boop, it just kind of goes like this, okay? So if you take a look, I mean, you could just take a shorter piece of ribbon and just kind of glue it down. But that's what I want to do on the back, okay? Hello, Denise. Denise, I am sending you so much love right now, sweetie. Okay, so we're going to take this, and we're going to start over on this side, just like we did in the picture. And we're going to go up, and we are going to loop them back. So give them a little bit hanging out on that side. Then we're going to do a little bit hanging out on that side. And then we're going to drop them back like that, okay? So you get this cute kind of little windy, windy. And then we're going to take this cute little guy and we're going to do it with the dimensionals. There we go. We're going to go like this. 
Denise, I've been on two nights in a row and I'm not going to lie. It feels good. I know why I do it. I know why I need to be online because it is. It's so good for uh, my mental health. I don't know how good it is for your mental health. You have to deal with me, you guys. Um, but it does. It gives me that little boost that I need. Okay, so I don't want to cover up my sentiment too much. There we go. Oh, I know. We have something else, but I don't know where they are. Where are they? I have super cute. I'm going to find them. I'm going to add them before I post the picture. Thank you, Brenda. Um, so we've got these adorable little enamel accents. They're in color ones. I have not seen them yet in my unpacking, but I know they're here. So what I'm going to do is I've got them in the bumblebee color, and I think I'm going to add a couple little um, of the little enamel accents just on the card before I call it done and finished. And then I will post a picture for you of it all. Cute. Let me just say, I'm just trying to see if I had a piece of... No, no, I don't. Okay. Anyway, so I will share that one with you guys later. But again, super fun way just to create an adorable little background. Okay. This one was, as I mentioned, it was the back on your feet stamp set. Um, and this one did not get retired. So you'll still be able to get this one in the new annual catalog. Hello, Valerie. Anyway, I will make sure that before I post this card, he's got some cute little accents on him in the enamel, but I will not keep you waiting while I hunt my craft room for those. It's great for our mental health. It's all of us. We so need each other. Okay, hang on. I'm going to come back over really quick. Ooh, now it's a weird view because I don't have my stand here. There, I'll tip my head down. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing evening. I will be back tomorrow. I know. Ah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, let's say 6 p.m. again. I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. unless something otherwise comes up. Okay, but I, I think 6 p.m. is good. I, don't, I, I can't see anything else being on my plate right now. So I'm going to go back to here so you don't have to watch my back end while I come over. If I send you stuff, will you do my coloring? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, Valerie, I wasn't back today. I go back Monday, but I had to get down to Vancouver today. Anyway, my dears, thank you so much. Anne, Anne, I am sending you the biggest virtual hug right now. Please know that there's people out here and we're all together. I, this is such a bizarre situation and it is. It's an emotional roller coaster, Anne. But there are people everywhere. If you need to chat, I am here. Take care, you guys. Night.